morning thank you for tuning in I have a I have a, a haul uh, from wish and one from Aliexpress but I'm gonna have to do it in two parts um, I wanted to open up my regular mail haul and I wanted to give an update to my viewers and my subscribers that I am working on the junk journal giveaway um, this is um, I know that below the pre last video I gave an update on the um, junk journal giveaway I am trying to reach 100 subscribers so as soon as I get my 100 subscribers I am going to do this giveaway I'm working on this one I don't do junk journals per se from scratch I like to alter books um, I kind of feel like they last a little bit longer and um, so yeah so this is the process of the book that I altered and these are the pages that I'm working on of course it's not finished this is just the foundation the basics of it it's going to have um, pockets and flips and flips and stuff like that so um, yeah so I'll be giving you um, updates on the progress of the book okay all right let's get into the um, unveiling of my boxes so I don't do it and disclaimers here I'm not trying to send anybody to this store but online I don't purchase from them all the time because I find that I like a sale so um, just put it that way I just like getting good deals and when I see a good deal and I know my prices I purchase it so this box here cost me $17 and it's from HSN it's an online store I, I, I don't know if your state has it or not I'm not sure if this is worldwide so but nonetheless it's from HSN and I sent away for I like when they uh, put all kinds of uh, little things in here I like to go through them memory makers mmm look at that first time I've ever seen that reminds me of Avon <laughs> okay so I sent for um, I have um, we are memory keepers is one of my favorite companies just because um, their their tools are so well made that they can get a beaten you know <laughs> it's like a Toyota car or a Nissan <laughs> or a Honda <laughs> so anyway yeah so and this is from their company I have the um, mini alphabet puncher punch board and I have the regular punch board and I just wanted to add to it and um, I sent away for decorative see that's what it that's what it is so this is pretty much punches that decorate the letters and um, I wanted them but I didn't want to pay that regular price for it so it's always nice when things are <clears throat> retiring on sale to get them so I got three punches for $17 three punches and do I have it? yeah I do have cardstock here that I can use as so we can see what they look like let me get them right here this will be fine so this is the first one and it looks pretty cool um, I'll have to if any yeah I, I believe these are the instructions on how to use I'll have to read it on how to use each um, it says Mira Sharon's full-length Sharon's uh, marquee punch 
and punching on a curve. So I guess they just show you how to um, how to twist and turn the um, the letter. But I'm just gonna punch here so you can see what it looks like. So that's basically a circle. Oh, and it gives you like position A, B, A, and B. So I guess you have to put the letter in between. So this is basically, I don't know. <clears throat> Did I waste my money? Because I can do this with a regular punch, right? I don't know why it has these um, double circles on it. All right, I'll try to figure that one out and I come back to you if you're interested. Um, the next one is this one. It almost looks like a, like a, like a tab. So that's what it looks like. Um, I would have to watch somebody else's tutorial or make my own and then come back to you. Well, one thing's for sure that you can use these as little mini tabs. I mean, it's not going to go in a diamond, so you can probably use these. See how it looks like a little tab? <clears throat> I, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't get this one. Uh, good thing I only pay like $17 for all three of them, but um, I don't know. It looks like a pot too <laughs> with a lid. Okay, stop, 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 stop. All right, so um, let's, I can get this stuff out of here. A little complicating. Get my tweezers. Okay, so that's that. And last but not least, I this must be the Chevron. The Chevron. All right. So again, you can see where you could probably lined up the um, the letters in between these four lines. So let's see what this one looks like. I'm really disappointed with the first two, honestly. Oh. This one I like. Um, of course, yeah, that's, I believe that's where the, uh, the letter, I mean, the line. Yeah, I'll have to play around with these and figure them. That's not bad. That's, that's a good one. Because you can almost use this for anything. And then, of course, the bits, you can use as confetti or for those shaker cards. Yeah, so out of the three, um, yeah, I, on, I only like this one really, and this one, this, I can find possibilities for it, but this is just a regular, um, this is, looks like, um, half an inch circle. That's what it is, is a half an inch circle. So, I don't know. Well, that's my opinion on these three. Moving on to clean up my mess. Moving on to this one, Amazon. I think I'm going to keep those boxes when, so when I mail out to my group. All right, this one. Now, I have to tell you, this is from this company is Lawn Lawn Fawn, I believe. They do cutting dies, and um, I, I really wanted this, but in their website, they wanted ridiculously forty dollars for it. Um, I think this is the highest I've ever used anything uh, money. I mean, the highest pay in dies that I've ever paid. I paid $29 for this, $30 in Amazon, okay? Amazon, all right? Honestly, it's not worth it, <laughs> technically, to me, 
but I really, really wanted this, and that was the only one that I found that was the least expensive. I've seen um, there's um, a bag one that someone did a tutorial on um, from the same company, okay, and they found it on AliExpress. Um, the difference between their dye and AliExpress was, of course, is a uh, frills. Uh, we, we call. Um, um, you know, like a copycat, okay? Um, and what it, what the difference between AliExpress and this one, the marketer from AliExpress and this one, is that it was created the opposite. So, for instance, this is theirs, and if AliExpress did a version of this, it would be flipped. That's what it looked like. Um, I don't know how good they are. I mean... I haven't purchased, I just purchased some from AliExpress to see what's the difference between them and, and Wish or any other um, matter, I mean, any other website. But anyway, long story short, I don't want to babble on. Um, this is, a, it's like a peek a card. And the dies are already made for you. I mean, I know you can do these from scratch, but... Sometimes, you know, if you have to do two or three, four or five, <laughs> you don't want to do them from scratch. You want just, you know, a quick, poof, poof, you know, type of thing. So, yeah, it, it brings all of this stuff. So, I can't wait to do this. I'm really excited because I draw. So, um, you can either draw or stamp. But is that cool? I love it. And you can just, you know, the whole mechanism is here. All you need to do is just add the stamps or the drawings to it. I mean, it it gives you a, a hello and a, maybe a little banner, but they don't give you the actual um, stamps. So, yeah. So, this is... I've been wanting this forever. <laughs> so, I know it's a little steep for me, but nonetheless, when you really want something and you search and this is like the lowest price then so be it anyway guys um thank you for tuning in um i will be bringing an update on the junk journal giveaway for my uh for this channel and i will be doing another haul i have to sort out because i ordered from wish i ordered from aliexpress and i ordered from um joom Dot com and I wanted to just like see if there's any difference in anything as far as in price um, Alex uh, June doesn't you don't need to pay shipping and, and it's a lot um, It's less money from wish so if you get something for a dollar and dollar shipping you probably get it there for 180 167 147 and it varies what you're looking for too so i would not knock any of the um websites i mean i like them all but i i'm a little iffy with aliexpress i received a, a note that they adjusted a price on one of my items so i have to go back in there and see what they're talking about um that i didn't like at all from aliexpress which wish doesn't do or as far as i've ordered from uh joom j-o-o-m um i haven't had any issues like that except for ali so i have to go back in there and find out what what is it that they're doing so anyway don't forget to subscribe if you have any comments or want to share any of your experiences if you have any of these items please link it below and leave your comment below and um i'll see you on the next video